uh, collective welcome back to the ascended divination priestess channel i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently i call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into our terror read. I first want to clarify something. In my last read, my last terror reading I did, the one where like there's a man that's not getting what he wants and... Your soulmate is leaving the past and uh, uh, and he has a lot of feelings for you and a, a whole lot of stories to tell. When I was doing that reading, it's like your karmic twin flame was trying to take over the reading. So it's like he, his personality was being presented as the soulmate's personality, but it's not the soulmate that's karmic. I think your soulmate was just in a karmic situation with a karmic feminine energy someone he's possibly been around for a long time maybe since childhood or something like that i could be wrong but i feel like when i was doing that reading there was a karmic male that knight of wands that was trying to take over the entire reading like he wanted it to be about him so you may have two people coming towards you with an offer and you need to be cautious not to end up with this knight of wands because it's not going to lead to anything this is someone that operates from their ego and i was really trying my best to um get that down low and give it to you all as straight and as honest as possible but i feel like i was struggling with that because it's like every time the soulmate would step in that karmic twin will take over and say no talk about me talk about me and i didn't realize that till i was done doing the reading and i'm like wait a car a karmic soulmate a twin flame there's something going on here but just be cautious <clears throat> there is a karmic man out here coming in to trick someone because he knows you're you're headed for abundance. If you pick the right path, you are someone that's going to be very influential and affluent in the world. Whoever you're supposed to be with, you never met before. So that should help you understand who it is you're supposed to be with when it comes to making this decision. You've never met this person before, but they are aware of you. I kept seeing the two of wands when I was shuffling my deck, which means that it is someone that's in the public eye. Or maybe it's someone that's watching you. You could be on a platform like myself. So it could be someone that's watching you in, in the public eye as well. So just throw with caution. Whoever your karmic twin flame is, is going through conflict behind the scenes because this is someone that has made a lot of bad decisions in life. Someone that's very toxic. Uh, someone that may even, I don't know, some of, someone, I heard something about both ways. Someone may go both ways or something like that. I don't know what it is. But someone is going through some type of loss um and they're living in fear because they don't want you getting with someone uh they don't want you uh choosing someone else over them but it's like the way this person has gone about as far as being able to come into your energy and make you an offer is very deplorable very disrespectful um and is very um uh, dishonoring the way he has gone about trying to force you to be with him maybe you aren't aware but you need to pay attention because there's something i've picked up on in the mass when it comes to the spiritual community it's like these twin flames are out here just doing any and everything just acting a dang fool out here trying to force people's hands people hearts into relationships that they're not supposed to be in so it's like you've completed a karmic cycle you've learned your lessons and things like that and now it's time for the universe to reward you with their good life the great opportunities the great partnerships soul tribe and things like that uh the the love the lover that you deserve your life partners and things like that and you have the twin flames out here that have refused to do their work but they want to be out here blocking people's offers abundance path and options and it's both karmic men and women that are doing this out here so just throw it with caution with something i picked up on too with your soulmate that you're supposed to be partnering up with which i believe is going to start off as something that is a work relationship um there is a woman in his background like in his like that he's been around 
from childhood that may have a lot of emotions for him. Maybe they dated before or maybe they've just been friends for a long time and maybe she has a lot of emotions for him, but maybe she he doesn't have those emotions for her or it could be vice versa. If you're a man, it could be a woman that has a, a, a lover from the past, from a childhood, something like that. There is someone in their energy that is trying to hold on to them and trap them, um, but he's making or she's making a decision to move on with her life because that situation is just not going anywhere. Um, so just keep that in mind that when you encounter your person, you two will have a story to tell and be patient with them. And hopefully they are, they are patient with you as well. Um, because it's that you two are coming out of the cold and moving together, uh, moving forward together in victory. But just be very wary that there's someone that wants to come. There's a masculine that wants to come towards a queen of pentacles, like an impressed energy just to trap you and have you conflicted. Like they want to come in with some type of offer that you can't, re uh, you can't, uh, uh, uh afford to turn down but you need to look into the fine details of what it is they're telling you um if you are like someone who's in like a queen of source energy an impress energy you are absolutely doing the right thing the due diligence to yourself to read the fine print and see what it is that someone is giving you a contract don't sign a contract with him um Whatever it is they are offering you, you really absolutely. Like, you know how they have those ads on in the newspaper or even on TV and they tell you to, and, and you're advised to read the fine print. Like, I'm telling you, read the fine print. Like, someone is getting something together to bring towards you, to trap you. And this is someone you are aware of. It's going to cause nothing but conflict. Even the people around him do not want him coming towards you with this offer. This could be like a King of Cups reverse. As you see, he's showing up here. He may be like someone that's very emotionally imbalanced right now. He's been able to overpower women his whole life, but he's not able, able to overpower you because your ancestors, the universe has it set up that way where it's that you are an individual. You move to your own beat. Uh, you have your own identity and you live truly to that identity. So someone is not able to come in and mask you or clone you duplicate you and things like that that like there is only one of you so whatever this man is plotting is going to backfire he uh heavily he may even end up losing everything at the end because i see someone that went from like a eight of pentacles maybe in like a five of pentacles energy and if he keeps trying to block you stop you destroy you he's going to end up in a really deplorable situation where he may end up losing everything and having to start back at one okay um but this is the energy he's in this is what he wants you to be in he wants you to be isolated rejected stuck in your mind like oh you know I can't believe this. I'm getting all these offers. Now he's coming in with a job offer and a business idea or business opportunity. I can't afford to turn down. If you accept an offer from this man, it's going to be like you build, build, building something from what I'm being told. It's going to be you building something and then someone destroying you. Basically, you'll put in all the work to build it and then they will take over it and they'll take ownership of it and you'll have nothing to kind of look at you know how when you let like people like myself when we like people like myself i prefer to work for what it is i want in life because i really get a thrill out of their uh the ending where you see what where you can look back and see how much work you put into something and then to see what it has blossomed into People like me, we get a thrill out of that. We feel very satisfied when we can have our hands in the things that matter to us because there's that sentimental value that is applied to it. I like things that are based on merit, right? Um, but imagine you putting in all of that work and then time to reap the harvest. Someone comes in and takes everything away from you. This is what this man is plotting against you. Is that he wants to come in and give you this stupendous offer just so that he can destroy you at the end because this man there's something about his ego that is just bruised easily even if you're not talking about him he thinks you're talking about him so he hasn't been able to conquer you like he's been able to conquer everybody else men and women so this is him setting something up so that he can come towards you and 
He's hoping that he will be successful in doing it. And then when the time comes, time comes for him to strike, he is going to be sitting back and having that smirk on his face that, yep, I got you. I finally destroy you. You're a trap. You have nowhere to go. This is the end for you. And he's going to try to make it seem like it's a natural disaster, but you're going to know it's not a natural disaster. This is someone that plotted everything to control all of your options, your resources, try to block your confidence and things like that. Uh, someone does not like the fact that you are in charge of your own life of your own destiny your soulmate and this person are like a whole contradiction when it comes to comparing the two your soulmate is like in the ace of swords energy ace of cups ace of pentacles energy ace of wands energy whereas this masculine is in this energy like this is someone that may be even like in a four of pentacles energy right now having to manage what it is they have because he invested in the wrong thing I'm also hearing that a masculine, this karmic masculine could have been out here paying people to cause you blockages, block your opportunities, block love offers and things like that. But they said whoever you are supposed to be with, they don't know him. They'll never get to meet him. Even if they did get to meet him, it is someone that has a mind of their own. So this is not someone you can just easily deceive. deceive. They don't care if you play a cassette tape, a recording. They don't care if you play a video. This is someone that feels like they have to go out and find the truth out about the person you are telling them about. So it's like if someone goes to him and tell him, hey, she's a whore or she's a this and she's a that, he's going to go and find out for himself because this is what intellectual people do. They find the truth out. But there's a man out here that's very desperate to force your hand into being with him um, because he's very attracted to you. He has a lot of desires and things like that for you. It's like someone likes to collect pretty things, but you're not a thing. You could be very beautiful, very charming, very unique. There's no one like you. You're like one in a lifetime kind of person. Um, you remember that? I don't know if you all have watched that Mulan. Uh, one of the last scenes in that movie was like the emperor t telling the man that girls like that. He was talking about Mulan. He said girls like that, they only come around uh, every, every dynasty or something like that. So you're very rare. And maybe this karmic twin flame is finding this out a little too late. Um, and, but his ego, there's something about a man's ego that's, that has taken over his life. Um, he feels the need to control everything and he thinks he's going to come in and deceive you with a false contract and you're going to fall for it. Do not, don't, the, the, the mistake people make is that they let money guide them. Money, if money is what's leading you, if money is what's directing you, if money is the reason why you are doing something, you will always end up in situations you're not supposed to be in. For example, like me doing tarot, this doesn't have anything to do with money. Yeah, it's nice that you two paid me like 25 cents or something. You know, it's nice that they paid me. But... I was doing this before I started getting paid, right? Like, you know, with YouTube, you have to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours. So you got to be dedicated. Like, you got to be dedicated to what it is you're doing. It shouldn't be about the money. So if you're getting into something or accepting a contract because someone says they're giving you a million dollars or they're giving you this, you're setting yourself up for failure. Do not get into any contract just because someone is offering you money. Uh, it should be one, do you like what it is that they're offering you to do? Is it something you're interested in? Are you going to be passionate about it? Are you just, are you just passionate about it today? Uh, and it's going to change tomorrow. You got to look at things like that. Be, have like your foresight, pay attention, pay attention to your intuition when people come to you to give you things. And I think I'm being told to give this message message because it's imperative for someone. There is someone coming towards your masculine, coming towards you to deceive you. Uh, maybe he doesn't think that you are aware, but hopefully this message will help you stay in the know about it. Stay alert because this is someone that you're not meant to be with this person. I don't care if you two are twin flames, soulmates or whatever. This person does not have good intentions for you. This is someone that operates from their lower energy. Someone that just refuses to do the work. Um, maybe they act, act, uh, like they are doing the work, but they're not doing the work. You like when you meet your soulmate, you will know the person you're actually supposed to be with. It, 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 there's going to be, and I don't want to say what it is, but you're going to know exactly what it is when you meet them. 
and it's going to let you know if you're paying attention, right? But whoever is supposed to be coming towards you is someone you you are familiar with, especially with the fact that we have this King of Cups out here in the reverse. This is someone you're familiar with, and this is someone that's emotionally imbalanced. This is someone that's, that plays on people's emotions. Uh, you know, they'll only... You know those people who they like you uh, conditionally. It's like if they need something from you, then they like you at that moment or they love you at that moment. But once they can't get anything out of you, then it's like, don't touch me. Don't come around me. Leave me alone. Who are you? What are you doing here? Blah, 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 blah. I don't even like you. And then it goes back to, oh, I haven't spoken to you in a long time. I really miss you. Or they'll even gaslight you. You don't be calling people anymore. What's up with that? You you think like you're better than me or something, or you forgot that we're friends. Like they'll start playing mental games with you. This is a narcissist at the court. So this is someone you are familiar with, but just be very cautious. I'm telling you, they're coming with ulterior motive, and that is to control you. You could be someone that's destined to be very abundant. Remember I mentioned something about you being very affluent in the future. In the public eye, have someone very respected and admired and held on a high pedestal because you're someone that does re deserve respect. You have, gonna, have put in that work, and you are going to keep putting in that work. And when you get to your destination, remember to stay humble. Do not let... The money get to you, the connections, the, the attentions. Don't let any of that get to you. That's the mistake people make when they get into these types of positions in life, in, the, in society. They let the money get to them. They start thinking they're better than other people. They start deciding who they can associate with, who they cannot associate with. And you, when you move like that, the universe has no ifs, ands, or buts about putting taking some type of action to cut that sucker out he said you know what we thought you were ready for this but apparently we don't know what it is we're doing we were wrong about it so they'll take all of that away from you so for someone out there you are being reminded to stay humble because your hard work is going to pay off you are going to be very influential in people's life you may be someone that ends up healing a lot of people teaching them how to balance their emotions or recognizing what kind of karma it is they're dealing with so that they can learn how to overcome those karma and be the best versions of themselves especially when it comes to like their relationships the relationships they're getting in the relationships with their children their families moms dads grandparents and things like that because these are things that goes that go back past lifetimes with this ten of pentacles out here this is legacy generations and things like that these are karmas the karmas that we deal with in the in lifetimes they go back other lifetimes right um so one of my karma i had to deal with had to do with knowing when to learning when to let go and walk away and not being loyal to the wrong people at my own detriment and this is something that took forever for me to overcome because loyalty is something that's very big to me um and that's something i had to learn the hard way that just because i'm loyal to someone does not mean they're going to be loyal to me all of those little things that people tend to overlook and disregard are karmas that we need to learn how to overcome even with you dating toxic people getting back in relationships with them because that's you going backwards in life instead of you going forward you choosing to stay in karmic connections and things like that that you know are not going anywhere those are karmas that we need to learn how to overcome. So you may be someone that ends up being so affluent that people will know that they can trust your advice and things like that in the future. So um, just be, just thread with caution on who you are partnering up with because this is your future that you are supposed to have. And this is someone the most high this is something and someone whoever you're supposed to be with the higher level soulmate this is a gift from the most high to you and you are a gift from the most high to this person because you two connect on a spiritual level uh, on a soul level right and your mindsets are the same in certain ways and they're different in certain ways because you two are coming from two different walks of life this is someone that's coming from an affluent background now i don't know if he was born into wealth with the ten of pentacles out here he may have been born into wealth um, but this is someone that is humble to at, at, at the core this is someone that cares about people this is someone going through a transition as well with this uh, king of cups out here um, and then it goes to the ace of swords to the ten of pentacles this is someone that's going through a transition as well as well there's something about his emotion that used to be like his emotions used to be out of balance like he didn't 
have a good grip on it, which would be why he was stuck in some type of karmic cycle with a Jesse Bell or a karmic person. And I'm not trying to say that as though like they're a bad person. They could be whatever it is. That's their business. But there's a reason why he was stuck with her. There's a karmic lesson that he needed to learn in order to get out of there and have a new beginning, a fresh start in life and be able to have the actual ten of pentacles that he does want to have, which is like family, the pet, the influence, the connections, the joy, because there's someone in some type of relationship where he's not happy in. It's almost like a public persona like this is what's socially acceptable. She's fair skinned or she's from my side of the track or my you know, whatever socially she's just like me so it's easier for me to be with her but he's finding out that that's not true so this is why he's leaving it behind to because he doesn't have any emotions for this woman so he's choosing to leave it behind and had take hold of this new opportunity that the universe is giving him he may, him he may find you to be very beautiful and he does want to come in and give you an offer someone will be communicating with you or to you in due time um but it's going to be at a time when you know no one's able to block your communications because i think there's something where people are interfering with communications when it comes to like mail email text messages phone calls is things like that going on but you too will have your ten of cups ten of pentacles everything you can think of and it has people burning behind the scenes because people on your twin flame side and possibly in his background that have been working really hard to block you two from coming together but it looks like you're still coming together because this is a union that's destined by the most high the universe they have decided that this is coming into being and you know when those suckers make a decision that decision is final so yeah there's, there is going to be a lot of love in this situation there is going to be a lot of reciprocity because i'm saying there is a source out here uh the ten of pentacles ace of cups um and then the six of pentacles this has a lot to do with balance equal give and take reciprocity right uh affluence influence pentacles stability legacy family everything you've ever dreamed of is what you are about to receive and whoever this knight a uh, king of pentacles king of cups is that was trying to block you from receiving this something has backfired horribly and they're gonna have to tell the truth about what it is they've been doing behind the scenes someone is living in fear because they stand to lose everything they may have been expecting to receive something that was yours but it's being given back to you or something is being balanced out whatever this is and it has this man burden trying to figure out on how he can take this away from you and be able to seal away to karma waters basically get go on the run um but that's not happening someone is stuck in some type of situation and they're gonna have to move on with the group of people that they gather together to come after you or try to destroy you they're trapped in this situation living in fear because they're all under judgment for causing illusions about who you were saying that you were karmic you were delusional mentally unstable and things like that when it was all because they didn't want you having wish fulfillment when it comes to families and things like that they didn't want you growing so they were out here trying to defeat you but you've defeated your enemies because while they're going through karma due to the truth being exposed about a group of people and something is being looked into as in this is something that belongs to you this is your abundance you're the one that deserves to have this so someone will be coming in to share with you be cautious as this knight of wands is on the move because that's the energy i picked up on in the last reading he is on the move to come towards you to give you an offer he wants to come in and tell you oh i know now that we're twin flames we're so amazed blah 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 i really think highly of you i have a lot of emotions for you and things like that no 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 move on with your life balance this out you should know i'm telling you that you are going to be ascending you are being told that the universe is balancing it something out you need to know that something is being balanced out you're supposed to be moving forward right healing and ascending you're going to be moving to somewhere else you in this knight of wands whoever this is you don't have any type of calling together if there was a contract that contract is void he knows that and this is why he's trying to come in to sneak you so that you do not receive this ace of pentacles um, and don't invest in anything that has to do with your growth don't want you having a new beginning but these are all things that are destined for you and this is a big yes from the universe when it comes to you growing because you are someone that's very disciplined you've worked really hard to manifest this new reality 
for yourself and you are going to be manifesting a new reality with your higher level soulmate that has been putting in the work as well. And this is someone that very, that finds you to be very beautiful. They're coming in to give you an offer and it's going to have something to do with like an institution that's in the upright, an institution that's going to support you, work with you. You're basically going to be with your soul tribe. Now it's not going to be perfect. But it will be something where it's like it's equal give and take because anywhere you go, there's always going to be problems. So you should expect that as well. But there's someone going through a tower behind the scenes for something they did. This could be like a knight, a, a king of wands that's going through a tower. Maybe he tried to tamper with your resources, tried to have you trapped, have you confused, have you living in anxiety and things like that. Someone is going through a lot behind the scenes, but it is well deserved. It is karma playing out. Um, but I just wanted to do some type of clarity on that message uh, previously because it's just like every time I was trying to do a re, um, there was like there's someone trying to take over the re, and it's like what in the world is going on? Like let me do my re in peace. And here it is. This is the person living in fear and anxiety. He's trapped. This is this could be someone someone wealthy. Um, and I'm not talking about your soulmate. This is like someone karmic that's trapped in some type of situation they cannot get out of. Um, and this is karma playing out. Okay, this could be like a king, a knight of. I mean, I keep trying to call him a knight of cups. So maybe he misrepresents himself to be a a king of cups. This could be a knight of cups because every time I try to say king of cups, the knight keeps coming out. This is a knight of cups. Pretending to be a king of cups that's living in a lot of fear and anxiety because he's under judgment. The truth is out. Your ancestors ain't playing with someone. They've made some type of decision, caused some type of justice, uh, have some type of natural disaster that is taking place in someone's life. And they're not even able to really hide this person. Every time they try to hide something, your ancestors are exposing it. So there's something supernatural that's going on behind the scenes that someone cannot really hide. They may have been out here trying to tell people that you're lazy, you're this and you're that. You're not easy to work with. It's a lie. You don't know what you're doing. It's a lie. You're disingenuous. It's a lie. It's like there's something someone has been very determined. They may have been working with a queen of wands behind the scene to steal what belongs to you. Uh, these are two people, this queen of wands and knight and knight, king of cups. I'm sorry, I'm going to call him a knight of cups because this is obviously someone misrepresenting themselves. This queen of wands and knight of cups has been working together to block your offers, your opportunity, more than likely to also block you and your higher level soulmate from coming together. They've been trying to weigh you two down, burden you. They've been very much committed. And now that the truth is out and they're being left out in the cold, someone is standing their ground to this karmic woman this weird situation that they've created for themselves and they're choosing to put an end to it, it has them bother and they're worried because they stand to lose everything. This is like you losing all your abundance because how you got the abundance matters. So you and your emperor, you're showing up as a match. And how you two are going to come together is unknown. It's a secret. Nobody knows. Even the empress does not know. Maybe the emperor knows because he's coming up as someone very strategic. He's a planner. So whatever it is he's doing or choosing to do, his ancestors are telling him, they're guiding him. Or he may be asking also for advice from a close friend or relative and they're telling him how to go about approaching this situation because someone is aware that a group of people have been doing something to you um, and it's a very sticky situation. So he has to throw with caution on how he approaches you. But this is going to be a successful uh, coming together contract this is someone that's traditional okay so you could be traditional he could be traditional as well i remember i did a read before there was a man trying to to see if the person he was with or the person he was supposed to be with was traditional and it turned out that he she's not traditional like someone contacted me in my dream state they wanted me to see that the person they were with or choosing to be with was traditional when we walked into the room or we swam into the room because in that setting we were underwater as mermaids when we got into that room we found her a masculine and another woman in their bed so that's not someone traditional that's also letting me know also that mermaids are very intellectual beings the fact that they decided to kind of play out these people's lives. It's like they didn't just tell me, no, she's not traditional. They showed me exactly what it is 
that goes on, which reminds me of what angels do, is that they reflect to you what you need to see. So someone like me, when you come to me and you're pretending to be in the upright, this is what I'm going to show you, right? Because this is what you need to work on. So what I show you is what it is you need to work on. It's not what you want me to see. It's what I need to see because if I don't... If I don't see what I need to see, you're never going to fix what you need to see. You're going to keep making all kinds of decisions out here. Um, so, yeah, that's it's the same with the mermaids. Apparently, those are, uh, I'm not going to call them mythological creatures because I think they're from a time period in humanity that's gone. Um, if they're still here, then they're probably not wanting anything to do with humans. But um, I just find it really interesting that the mermaids, they didn't, come out and tell me that no she's not traditional they played out these people's lives they hey yeah she usually has a man that's going down on her and then there's a woman next to her and they're taking turns doing things she's not traditional i don't know why he thinks she's traditional baby i said these mermaids said we don't got time today tomorrow or any day to be playing with you sir she is not traditional okay <laughs> This poor emperor, he was like, gosh, darn, I thought this suck up. Yeah, oh, Lord. Yeah, he was heartbroken. He had to go within and balance this situation. I find the strength to reject this woman, leave her where she is, and move on with his life and balance something out because he's now seeing someone else as he, maybe it's you he's holding as someone in high honor. He said, I don't want to be with that. You told me, I thought you were classy this time. I'm a, he said, I'm a classy man. I got to be with a classy woman. You ain't classy. You out here being reckless and giving your pack back to everybody. Got me deceived thinking like you're traditional. I'm about to marry you or I don't want to marry you and everything. Yeah, he, he's balancing this out. Uh -huh. what, what did Drake say? She, she, said, she said that she got more class more class we know yeah we know it's a lie <laughs> sorry sir it's a lie yeah absolutely whatever this family was plotting behind the scenes is not a victory like there's some type of judgment that has been made against a family that came together to destroy someone either a feminine energy and to cause an illusion to a man in high honor they are not having victory there's some type of temporary victory they may have had in the past and now it has them burdened and weighed down because because something will never go back to what it was it's like maybe they had an upper hand when it came to causing deceit lying and you know just misleading people but something has been balanced out by the universe it's like now nah, i was expecting Exposing the truth about this family. They're not having any victory. These are not people that are logical. These are people that are illogical. They uh, 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 they, they, they cause delays and destructions to other people in order to get ahead. So we're not allowing this to go on anymore. They're going to have to move on with their life. These two higher level soulmates that we've destined to come together will be coming together. So it is what it is. Uh, two ascended masters have been together many lifetimes together this is not your first rodeo okay uh so the masculine may be a little bit more aware of you than you are of him but that's okay that, that just means that he has had the opportunity to learn a little bit about you um and then you'll have to take the chance to know him too but i think you two are meeting like spiritually you are aware of each other yeah spiritually you two are aware of each other and you will be getting away from this situation this karmic situation that people have tried to keep you in trap you in you will be getting out of it and connecting with your higher level soul tribe members and things like that uh, there's a new community that you are about to be in that's going to be people going to be filled with people that are just like you people that are go-getters and things like that and they don't have time for nonsense they live true in their truth and they want to work together with other people that have the same agenda as they do they don't have time for nonsense they may there may be people in their community that think very highly of you and they're going to do anything and everything to make sure that you stay safe you stay uh feeling like you uh matter to them um, you stay feeling like you are part of the team, part of the community, something of that nature, because you may be someone that ends up being like an advocate for the community or like a face for the community, something of that nature. But just thread with caution, stand your ground when it comes to that Knight of Wands, um, and just make sure you're not accepting anything from him because it's going to lead to nothing but heartache. 
uh, stand your ground, stay in your truth. Something is being balanced out. You could have a queen of clubs here that's going through some type of legal proceedings because of something she did with a queen of swords. They may have told some type of lies, slander your character out here. Yeah, they slander your character. The universe is taking care of these people. They may have been out here paying people to cause you endings, trying to end your independence, your stability, so that you don't end up in this relationship. You end up being rejected and having to move on with your life. But it's all being balanced out. Um, I am going to leave the read there for now. Um, hopefully you all are doing well. There's so much conflict going on behind the scenes. And it's just like I keep being told this is something that could have been avoided. People have put themselves in a situation that could have been avoided the whole time. But because of greed and animosity and insecurities, this is why they are in the situation that they are in. Um, so now a lot of them are going to have to start over. The universe has made a judgment and it is final. So, yeah, more conflict, more fighting, more argument, some type of work. Something is going to have to be balanced. Something is being worked towards. Maybe someone is working on balancing a situation out, fixing something because something is being illuminated. Like the truth is coming out. Yeah, they're working on balancing something out. Someone may be coming towards you to give to you, balance, like balance something out. Okay, there's something in their life too that you probably will be giving to them or you've already given to them that you don't know when it comes to maybe your words, your intellect, things like that. And maybe they're grateful to you. Uh, someone may have uh pay like a devilish energy a couple or something to cause some type of distance between you and whoever it is you're supposed to be with and your ancestors are interjecting that is that we don't got time for this nonsense we don't told you that uh, these two are coming together they will be getting married will be abundant will have children will be really fulfilled in life so we are going to need you to sit down somewhere okay and get a life anyways thank you so much for watching stay blessed i'll see you in my next read goodbye for now